Hi Aquarius and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your mid-month love reading. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot or will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, what you gonna do? That's right, you are gonna let it fly. And if it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. And if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com, okay? With that being said, let's get your reading started. And happy Valentine's Day to those of you guys that actually, you know, celebrate. Or better yet, have a Valentine's Day. I mean, it should be done all year round. Valentine's Day, it shouldn't happen once a year when you decide to buy your partner some flowers or candles or candies you know candy it should be done every year it should be done all year round not every year it should be just because and not because you're in a dog house no just because i want to buy you some flowers to show you how much i appreciate and love you it shouldn't have to be to a man-made holiday comes around and says oh this is a time of year when you're supposed to buy your spouse some candy and some flowers and wine them and dine them no that should be done all year round okay but that's just my opinion and for those of you guys enjoy your valentine's day but let's get your reading started okay so please tell me about prayers in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. I forgot what I was doing here. <laughs> Let me see here, Aquarius. It's your birthday, Aquarius. Let's see. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from February from now to the ending of February. 2020, we got one already. Okay. Please tell me about Chris and love from now to the ending of February 2020. Aquarius. That's what I'm talking about. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February 2020. Please tell me about Aquarius in love. Okay. Please tell me about Aquarius in love from now to the ending of February. Damn, you guys, just, I like it. You guys are running your mouth today. I love it when you guys run your mouth. Just love it. That foo foo, and then foo foo. I love it when you guys run your mouth like this. I can't stand that silent treatment when I have to be asking over and over and over. I like when you guys will go right ahead and tell it how it is. So. What we have here is the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So with the Two of Wands here, we have the Eight of Cups and the King of Cups. Aquarius. And we have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Aquarius. And we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. Cool. So, some of you guys could be dealing with a earth sign, a Virgo, to be precise, and you guys could. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So this is the deal. Somebody here walked away. Somebody walked away due to either they was being lied to, cheated on. There was. They could have been some, some type of deceiving. This person could have been deceiving this person in some type of shape or form. And there wasn't being truthful with them. But now it looks like 
even though this person walked away, you guys still think about each other. You guys still reminisce about each other. Both you guys do. Both you guys do, and somebody wants to come in and speak their truth, whatever that is. They want to speak their truth because now they're coming in. Somebody's coming in as the king of cups wanting to speak their truth, whatever that is, like I said. Because you guys do think about each other. And keep in mind that this can go vice versa. So it may not apply to you. It could easily apply to the other person. Because I could be picking up on the other person's energy and not yours. So uh, and, and so if you need to flip it, flip it by all means. Go right ahead and flip it, baby. And this also applies to men. It does not just apply to females. It applies to men as well because we all have fem feminine and masculine energy within us. And I have seen some females that are more masculine than men. Trust me, I have seen it. And when you look at these, when you look at that couple, you'd be like, you could clearly see who's the bitch in that relationship. Yes, I have seen it. So it applies to men just as well. Okay, let's find out about this Eight of Cups here. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Let me ask a question. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups here. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Please give me more information on the Eight of Cups. Let's see. What we got here? Too many burdens. Okay. Well, somebody walked away. We got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They walked away because somebody was not investing. Somebody didn't want to invest in this. Too many burdens. We got the Ten of Wands in reverse. They walked away. They re it was This could have been too overwhelming for them. There was too many burdens, too much stress, too much things, too much going on. And by them walking away, they released all of that. And the Three of Cups, so it could have been a three-party situation as well. Let me tell you about the three-party situation. The three-party situation, it doesn't have to be another romantic interest. It could easily be a family member. It could be your friends that want to be all up in your business, want to be telling you how, they, how, you know, how you should do in your relationship, in your love life. Or it could easily simply be a person's job that's coming in between you and your partner. Okay? So... Right here, somebody ended up walking away due to the fact that someone did not want to invest into the connection. Somebody not want to, I'm going to say somebody wasn't invested. Somebody wasn't investing into the connection. This was too much of a burden for this person, maybe because they was taking on the whole entire relationship. They carried out, they was, they was the one carrying the relationship. They did all the work and it was stressing them out. It was overwhelming because they was doing all the work and they decided to walk away. They decided to walk away from this connection because it was too much. It was too much. Somebody wasn't doing their part and they was the only one that was doing all the, you know, that was doing everything. Keep in mind, Aquarius, this could be you or it could be the other person. And this could have been a three-party situation. Like I said, that could be anybody. That could be the job. There was like too much going on here. And they walked away. So now let's find out about the King of Cups. Please get more information on the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Please get more information on the King of Cups. Please get more information on the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Please get more information on the King of Cups. Okay. We got the Magician upright. So somebody's trying to manifest something here. Well, somebody. <laughs> I'm just laughing. They want to need we got the world. Somebody's trying to manifest uh, a new beginning. They want to manifest a new beginning. This person has everything that they need to manifest the new beginning. We have the magician here. You have all the tools you want, all the tools that you need to manifest this new beginning. You have it because this king of this king of uh, cups, he's extending himself out to you. He's extending himself out to you, making an offering because he wants to manifest you back. And when I first looked at this page of wand, I looked at it upside down. So I started laughing was because somebody wants to manifest a new beginning, but they just don't want to apologize. It's like, can we just skip the apology part and just go straight to the good part? 
Uh, no, you cannot skip the apology. You're going to have to apologize and you're going to have to kiss ass too. Because that's where the Page of Pentacles comes in. And they just want to like kind of skip this part, skip the apology and skip the part where they got to kiss ass. Mm -mm. Sorry. This is a must. This is kind of like foreplay. You must do this. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Okay? This right here, this page of pentacles, this is you, this is that person coming in, uh, you know, basically making a stable offering as well. They could be offering you something stability, you know, some stability is page or it's more. Ain't nothing big, you know, basically you guys going out. Or oh, better better yet, this isn't this could be an apology. Okay, this could be an apology. This is them trying to make things right with you know, trying to basically kiss an ass because they got to come back in and kiss ass now to get you on the right side. So, this is kind of like foreplay, you can't skip it. Sorry, you cannot skip this part. So, for those of you person that wanted to skip this part, thinking you could just start new and just jump to the good part and just skip the part where you have to kiss ass. Now, sorry to tell you, you're going to have to apologize and you're going to have to kiss ass. It's kind of, like I said, it's kind of like foreplay. It's a must. <laughs> Just letting you know. It's a must. Can't skip it. <laughs> so, let's find out about the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Somebody's feeling left out. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Okay. My hand hurts. <laughs> so far, we have Justice. And we have the Five of Pentacles. So somebody is feeling left out in the cold, but they know that they got to make things right here. You're going to have to make things right. You're going to have to balance out that scale. You're going to have to balance it out. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Okay, please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles here. They know that they're going to have to balance it out by putting work into it. By putting the work into it. Putting some work and effort, some sweat into it. Because we have the lovers here. We also have the lovers. Because this person actually does love you. They're in love with you. And you're in love with them. And the seven of swords here. There wasn't somebody. Somebody's feeling left out. Because they, somebody wasn't being truthful here. Things were not fair between the both of you guys. It, was a, it wasn't an equal give and take. It could have, this could have been a three-party situation as well because we have the lovers and the three of cups on here now. So it could have been, so somebody could have been being sneaky. Somebody could have been trying to be sneaky here. And things were not fair between the both of you guys. And oh, wow. So things were not, somebody's feeling left out. Somebody could have been, somebody could have said, things were not, it was not an equal give and take. Somebody could have been saying that they was at work when they was really with their lover. When they was actually with their lover. Talking about, oh yeah, I'm working late. I got a lot of work and I got a lot of work. I got a lot, you know, I got a lot of work. I got a lot of shit that I got to do. When they was actually with a lover. And they was just lying to you by telling you that they was actually working when they really wasn't. They was actually with a lover here. They was actually with a lover here. 
and this way and things were feeling and things were unfair and you was making the other person feel left out it could have been like that or it could have been to where this person was more focused on their job than there was on to in you it could have been things was fair to the point to where this person was so focused into their job that they wasn't focused into your connection at all and that was making this person feeling left out so it made them feel left out so it was like in one hand some some of you guys this person could have self-sabotaged this whole entire situation it could have been a self-sabotage because they was just focused on their career that's all they was doing they was focused on their career their money their coins they could have just been focused on that and not and not in the not into the connection at all or this person could have been telling you that they was at work working late whatever the case may be when they really wasn't when they was with their lover they could have been telling you that as well and it was been making you feel left out i'm picking that up as well here and somebody here is feeling left out in the cold here somebody's feeling left out Let me see what else I could get here. Yeah, it could be that. Those are the two that I'm getting here. Let's find out about this Nine of Pentacles. And whoever this person was, they were single. Please give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information. See, whoever this person is, they want to reunite with that person that walked away. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Whoever that person is, they want to reunite with that person that walked away. They want to reunite with them. You guys, some of you guys, I'm going to tell you who you guys, some of you guys could have been dealing at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Pentacles. So some of you guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn. If not, it doesn't have to be because I have Libra here. I have Aquarius. I have Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. I have... Gemini, I have Virgo here, I have some fire, and some water. Okay, so either way, check this. So we have the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Now the King of Pentacles, he's a, he's a businessman or businesswoman. They're financially focused, I mean they're financially stable. They have a great career, they have a career. They're financially stable if they tend to own their own business. If they work for a company, they tend to be in a leadership position, such as a director or manager, so forth, and they tend to be father figures or mother figures. Okay? Now, like I said, this person could have been a business person, business owner, or this, this person was part of corporate America. Let's say that. This person could have been focused on their career. So at the time, this person could have been, the King of Pentacles could have been in reverse, where it was all about them. And we have to, and all they were doing just focus onto their career. So they could have been self-centered, self-absorbed, selfish. They could have been selfish with their time in that type of sense. And they was they were just focused onto their career and that's it. Now, for the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Three of Pentacles, <coughs> the Eight of Wands, Communication, and the Queen of Pentacles, which is a Virgo. Some of you guys was dealing with a Virgo, because now we got two Virgos. Because the Nine of Pentacles, that for me, that's a Virgo. That's a, that's a person that's very abundant within their own right. That's somebody that's content being single. They don't need nobody to come take care of them. They don't need no captain say come save a hoe. They don't need that. Because they got this. 
they're financially stable they're abundant content being single uh they got their head on straight and you know they're happy they're fine you know they they're fine they got everything they don't need nobody to come save them they're happy and the nine of pentacles this nine of pentacles she is my pre-empress as well this is her before she got married okay and now we have the nine of pentacles so now with the three of pentacles here and the eight of wands and the queen of pentacles this is somebody here that now wants to cooperate with you this is somebody now that wants to communicate with you and cooperate or you want to communicate with this person you probably want to communicate with a virgo this queen of pentacles that's a virgo right there as well that's wifey that's wifey right there you and this person as of right now she's single or he's single but you want to communicate with this person because you want to turn them into you want to make this nine of pentacles you want to make them wifey because here's wifey right here but they single now but you're willing to but you want to communicate with them you're willing to meet them halfway you want to cooperate make adjustments with them because this person right here the queen of pentacles she's a confident queen she knows her worth yes she does you cannot tell her shit because she knows her worth she is very confident she's elegant she cooks she cleans she works she pays the bills she takes care of the kids she does it all she's wifey right here okay and look she's holding her pentacle right there because she knows her worth and you cannot tell her different okay and you want to communicate with this person right here because you also see the worth in this person you see the value in this person you see it and that's why now you want to communicate with this person or or they want to communicate with you keep in mind of course that this could be vice versa this could go also vice versa it doesn't have to be just you i mean it doesn't have to be you it could easily be the other person okay so let's find out but there's going to be communication here Let's find out. I want to get more on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Booyah, baby. Look who we got. We got the King of Pentacles. We got husband and wife. We got a couple right here. Look at that. Both of you guys want to talk to each other. Both of you guys. And look, we have the hangman here in reverse. So you guys know what you want. There's nothing for you guys to think about. You guys know what you want. You got both of y'all there. Both of you guys want to communicate with each other. Both of you guys want to talk. Whoever was the one that was in limbo trying to gain some clarity, you already know what you want. You ain't think there's nothing for you to think about. You already know that this is the person that you want to be with. You already know that this is a person that you love. You love this person. You love this person. You want to be with them. And you're willing to put in the work to make this work, to make it happen. And you already know that you're going to have to do right by this person. Because you could have either, you guys could have been self-sabotaging the whole entire situation by being focused on your career or your job only more than in the connection. Or you guys could have just been straight up cheating. Saying that you was at work when you really wasn't when you was with somebody else. You could have been saying that. But either way, right now, this person, you want to communicate with this person. You want to manifest this person. You want a new beginning with this person. You want to manifest them back into your life. You're willing to cooperate, to meet them halfway. You want to communicate with them. Both of you guys want to talk. Because we got hubby right there. Husband and wife, they're looking directly at each other. Let's find out about this Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Okay. We have the Page of Cups. This is you guys coming in, the Knight of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. Please get more information on the Ace of Swords. 
At one point, you guys were trying to avoid a disaster because we have the tower here in reverse coming up. And we also have the page of wands here. So you guys want to communicate to this person, you know, be. And the page of wands, this is also a flirtatious energy here. So you guys want to communicate with them, you know, bring them good news and be flirtatious at the same time with this person. Because at one, at one point, you were trying to avoid a disaster with this person. Let's find out. Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Why is the tower here? Please get more information on the tower. Yeah, you use. We have the world, you have, we have the wheel of fortune reverse. What do we have here? The wheel of fortune in reverse and the five of cups in reverse. It's because you was, uh, things wasn't going right with you. Things were not going right with you. You could have been down on your luck. Uh... You could have been in your head with the eight of with the eight of swords right here. You could have been in your head a lot, nervous, scared. You could have been in your head, things wasn't going for you. Karma could have been catching up to you. You could have been miserable. I mean, because we have the five of cups here, so you could have been feeling miserable because things was just not going your way, and. You want to let this person know exactly what was going on because you didn't want to put in because you was like you was trying to avoid a disaster because you felt in the way you felt that if you was to put in the work and energy into this relationship it's going to it was going to fall it was going to be turn out to be a disaster so you put all this work and energy into a relationship that didn't even work out and from what it seems like because you're already down on your luck you're already miserable as it is it's like and this could have been from a past relationship that you guys were in or past situation that you guys were in and hold on Aquarius So this could have been a past relationship that you guys were in that just didn't work out and you was trying to avoid another disaster. You was trying to avoid another disaster because you put a lot of time and energy into another relationship and didn't work out for you. And here you have another one that you actually are feeling this person. You really are feeling them. You want to be with them. But it's like you're scared to put in all the work because you already got out of one relationship that was a total disaster. And now you got this one right here. But at the same time, you're scared because it's like, I'm just going to go right ahead and avoid disaster and not do shit. And let the other person do all the work. I ain't doing shit. I let them do it. That's not right. So let's find out about the Six of Cups here. But you're going to tell this person the truth. You're going to tell the person, you're going to, you're going to tell the person the truth of what took place. Of what took place and why you was trying to avoid this disaster. Because something happened that you was avoiding a disaster. You felt in your head that it just wasn't going to work out. <laughs> so let's find out about the Six of Cups. Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more information on the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Please get more. You guys want to go for an expansion, so do they. They want it just as much as you do. We have the Ace, the, the Knight of Cups, the Empress, Girl for an expansion. And the nine of cups, emotional happiness, emotionally being emotionally satisfied. So you guys reminisce about this person. You guys think about each other. Both of you guys do. Both of you guys think about each other. And both of you guys want growth and expansion. 
hope you guys are feeling the same way. Because you guys do care about each other. You guys do love each other. Despite of everything that took place, they still love here. There's still love between the both of you guys. There's still love here. You guys still care for each other. I mean, we have husband and wife here. This is, uh, this is basically your... This is your power couple right here. The king and the king and queen of pentacles. This is your power couple right here. That's who you guys are. You guys are a power couple. If you guys actually take the time to come together and work your differences out, you know, meet each other halfway and everything, you guys could be a power couple. Cause we got a husband and wife, and you guys came out in this, and the king and queen came out in the same type of spread, clarifying the nine of pentacles. So you guys are a couple, a power couple, and we have here the lovers. So there is love between the both of you guys. So you cannot say that there's no love. And both of you guys want a new beginning with each other. You guys want growth and expansion with each other. You guys reminisce about each other. And somebody's going to be coming in making an offering. Somebody's going to be coming in making an offering. And that's what you... and. The offering and you guys and you guys are gonna accept most of you guys are gonna accept this offering most of you guys are gonna accept it because you guys do there's love here between the among the both of you guys there's love so most of you guys will accept this person back this person when they come back they're gonna be very truthful with you they're gonna tell you exactly what took place the reason why they did what they did this person is going to be taking on the king of the king of cups energy. So he, they're going to be, you know, extending themselves. They're going to be emotionally available to you. And they're going to offer you stability. This person, because the king, because the king of pentacles offers stability as well. He offers stability and the king of, of cups, of course, he's offering you love. And you guys already love each other and he's coming in offering you stability as well so this is good aqua if it's you aqua like i feel that the male aquas are the ones that need to be contacting the female here for some reason i feel that is the ma the masculine version let's put it that way the masculine version is the one that should be contacting the feminine version here that's where I'm picking. That's the way it's coming across to me. Now, it's not going to apply to everybody like that, of course, because everybody's different. Everybody's story is different, so it's not going to be like that at all. But the way, I'm, the way I'm picking it up is that the masculine version is the one that's going to contact or needs to contact the feminine version here. The feminine person. Feminine person is the one that needs to do it. Okay? But you guys, for... Some of you guys could have been dealing with a Libra, like I said, Libra, Capricorn, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces. You could be dealing with anybody. It could be you could that you guys could be dealing with anybody here. I have everybody here on the board, on the spread, so you could be dealing with anybody. But this is your reading, Aquarius, and <clears throat> I'm gonna get your guidance message. This is a good reading. So, like I said, the way I'm picking it up is that the masculine is energy is the one that needs to be contacting the feminine. Now, of course, that's not going to go with everybody here because it might be the feminine that need the feminine energy that need to be contacting the masculine energy. So, like I said, this applies to men and females, not just females. Okay, please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. Please give me a guidance message for Aquarius. A surprise is on the horizon. Expect a nice surprise. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys take care. Be safe. And uh, stay cool.